A local female rapper was killed in a shooting in Oakland. This was Saturday uh, during the grand opening of a beauty store. An East Bay rapper killed over the weekend, and her friends say she was shot while attending an event at a beauty shop in Oakland. Well, the victim is known as Tan God, a rapper with more than 20,000 followers on Instagram and a bright future ahead of her. According to the people who knew her, they say the young entrepreneur and music artist was passionate about her music, and they never saw this coming. <laughs> Family and friends gathered outside Glamour Beauty Supply in Oakland Sunday, many in tears as they paid tribute to local female rapper and entrepreneur Tandagod. The life of Aliana Green, known to many as the rising Oakland rapper Tandagod, came to a sudden and tragic end on July 13, 2024. At just 27 years old, Tandagod had made a significant mark on the Bay Area music scene with her raw talent and provocative lyrics. Her career, however, was shadowed by controversy, particularly surrounding her mixtape, X Woodpack, which many believed contained confessions of a dark and violent past. On that fateful day, during a meet-and-greet event at the grand reopening of Glamour Beauty Supply, Tandagod was gunned down in an attack that has left her community reeling and searching for answers. Her death has ignited a whirlwind of theories and speculations, intertwining her artistic persona with real-life events. Join us on this episode of Urban Crime Stories as we dive into the complex and tragic case of Tandagod, examining the events leading up to her untimely demise and the ongoing investigation. Before we continue, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of future crime stories. Born and raised in the Bay Area, Tandagod was deeply influenced by the vibrant local music culture. Her journey into the music industry was marked by her raw lyrical style and unfiltered commentary on her life experiences. Despite her rising fame, Tandagod remained connected to her community, often using her platform to support Black-owned businesses and local initiatives. She had a growing social media presence with over 24,000 followers on Instagram. She often used her platform to interact with her fans, sharing snippets of her daily life, promoting her music, and supporting local businesses. Tandagod's music often delved into themes of resilience and empowerment, but it also courted controversy. Her 2023 mixtape, X Woodpack, drew significant attention due to its provocative content. The mixtape included tracks that seemed to reference the murder of her abusive ex-boyfriend, who was killed the same year. Lyrics from songs like, He Say I'm Cold, and the mixtape's incendiary cover art fueled speculation about her involvement in the crime. Despite these public perceptions, her family and close friends insisted that the mixtape was purely an artistic expression meant to garner clout and not an admission of guilt. On July 13, 2024, Glamour Beauty Supply, located on Telegraph Avenue in Oakland, was celebrating its grand reopening. The store had recently come under new ownership after been closed for several months for renovations. This was a special day, not just for the store owners, but for the entire neighborhood. Tandagod was invited to promote the event and connect with her fans. The day started with excitement and anticipation, Tandagod arrived at the store in the early afternoon, ready to celebrate. She was dressed in a striking black and white furry jacket, a large silver necklace, and a beaming smile that lit up the room. Her energy was infectious, and it wasn't long before the parking lot outside the store was filled with people. She gave her followers a virtual tour of the newly renovated store, posting videos on Instagram. She showcased the bright pink and purple floral displays, the well-organized aisles, and the luxurious golden throne set up for photo opportunities. Her enthusiasm was palpable as she highlighted the store's features and the hard work that had gone into its transformation. The crowd outside the store danced to music with children running around and families enjoying the sunny weather. Tandagod was at the center of it all, her laughter and excitement contributing to the festive mood. As the afternoon progressed, the cheerful atmosphere suddenly shifted and the day took a tragic turn around 5 p.m., a masked gunman entered the scene and, without warning, opened fire directly at Tandagod. The first shots rang out, causing immediate panic and chaos. The crowd, which had been dancing and celebrating just moments before, scattered in all directions, ducking behind cars and running for cover. Witnesses described the horrific scene as something out of a nightmare. Sulcho, who worked at a nearby Korean barbecue restaurant, recounted to local news station KTVU, she was performing there, and this guy with a hood just walked in through that gate and started shooting. Everybody ducked and hid behind the cars. 
Cho added. He was targeting her only. I saw it. He wasn't shooting at everybody, he was just shooting at her. Another witness, Vincent, an employee at a nearby donut shop, initially thought the gunshots were part of the performance. I heard some shots and thought the shots were part of the music. Then I heard three really loud shots. I think the rapper was screaming, I'm hit, I'm hit. And she was just laying on the ground until medics came, Vincent told reporters. The gunman, described as a man wearing a hoodie, fled the scene on foot immediately after the shooting. In the ensuing chaos, friends and supporters rushed to tend to God's side. They quickly carried her to a nearby vehicle and sped to the hospital, desperate to save her life. Unfortunately, despite their efforts, she succumbed to her injuries shortly after arriving at the hospital. Alongside Tandagod, another woman was injured in the shooting but fortunately survived. She was treated for her wounds and was expected to recover. In the immediate aftermath of the shooting, chaos and panic filled the air. The Oakland Police Department immediately began an investigation into the fatal shooting. Officers arrived at the scene, cordoning off the area to gather evidence and speak to witnesses. The description of the suspect was quickly circulated. A man wearing a hoodie who had targeted Tan to God specifically and then fled the scene on foot. As the investigation continued, the police worked tirelessly to track down the suspect. They combed through surveillance footage, interviewed witnesses and followed up on leads. The community, still reeling from the shock and grief, rallied together to support the investigation hoping for justice for Tandagod. Friends, family, and fans began gathering outside Glamour Beauty Supply to pay their respects. They laid flowers, lit candles, and shared memories of Tandagod. The sidewalk in front of the store became a makeshift memorial, filled with tributes to the young rapper who had touched so many lives. On social media, the outpouring of grief was immense. Messages of love and condolences flooded in from all over. Fellow musicians, including Oakland rapper Mista Fab, posted heartfelt tributes. Mista Fab, who had been scheduled to perform with Tan to God at the event, wrote, The violence is beyond understanding. The hurt, the pain, and the trauma have made a forever lasting impact. Tan to God, I will always remember you as a hustling go-getter with a world of ambition, drive, courage, and a heart big as Texas. I love you, little sis, and told you on several occasions. It's sad to see this happen. They had me booked to be there with you, but God had different plans. As the community mourned, the police continued their efforts to bring the perpetrator to justice. As the investigation into Tandagod death continued, numerous speculations and theories emerged about the motive behind the shooting. One possible motive discussed by those close to her was an argument earlier in the day. Witnesses mentioned that she had a heated exchange with an unknown individual, which some believed might have triggered the violent attack later. Another theory that gained traction involved her recent music and social media activity. She had been outspoken about her past, including her tumultuous relationship with her late ex-boyfriend. In 2020, Tandagod had been involved in a serious incident where she shot her ex-boyfriend in self-defense. The case led to her serving jail time and being placed in protective custody upon her release. The incident had been a significant and painful part of her life, and she didn't shy away from addressing it in her music. Just weeks before the shooting, Tanda God had released a song that many speculated was a diss track aimed at her ex-boyfriend. The song, combined with provocative social media posts, seemed to escalate tensions. One particularly controversial post featured her posing next to a fake tombstone that read, Here Lies My Ex, while promoting her latest album, Ex Woodpack. In the post, she taunted her ex's family, saying, You should have never died. You should have never played with me because then I gotta take it to the third degree. She laughed and added, I gotta be extra childish making families mad. Oh well, cause they ain't gonna do nothing about it. These posts and her latest music release led some to believe that her murder might have been an act of retribution. Speculations about the ongoing tension between her and her ex-boyfriend's family circulated online. However, Tandagod family and close friends were quick to refute these rumors. They emphasized that the true motive behind the attack was still unknown and that spreading unverified theories only added to their grief. As the investigation continued, these speculations and details from her past provided context, but also highlighted the complexity of her life and the challenges she faced. The community mourned her loss, hoping for justice and clarity on the motives behind her tragic death. The story of Tandagod became a poignant reminder of the impact of violence 
and the need for compassion and understanding in addressing such tragedies. What are your thoughts about this story? Was Tondagod murder retribution, or was it a separate act of violence? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of future crime stories. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until next time, I will see you with another episode of Urban Crime Stories.